I need you to come over. Oh, uh, why? Everything okay? Something's something's happening to me, and I um. What the fuck? What's, what's happening? I don't know what to do. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll be right there. Just please. Uh, Hey buddy, uh, what's up? Stay back. Okay. I'm... I'm transforming. Oh, like being a transgender? Congrats man, that's something to be afraid of. No, you don't understand. I'm transforming into... A zoophile! Someone that likes to fuck animals. Oh. Gross. Oh, come on, man. I don't want to do this alone. Ah, uh, see ya. Yeah, good luck. Fine, I'll go on 4chan. What is up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Pro Jared's Little Innocent and Traded Nudes with 15 year olds in 2015 on the Normal Boots Discord. And welcome back. This video is sponsored by your mom's fat ass. Make sure to head over to your mom's fat ass.com. Link in the description. Use code KEEM to get 20% off. Now, it's come to my attention that uh, bestiality is coming into a funny and cool trend on TikTok. <laughs> Which is absolutely disgusting. Only because I did it back in 2012, okay, shitheads? I'm so fresh you can suck my nuts. I'm so fresh you can suck my nuts. Down to the framing, okay? This is the best part. Oh, you did it with a cat? Yeah, fucking really original, buddy. So I thought to myself, man, I bet there's some weird zoophilia and, and bestiality things on YouTube. It's really hard to find anything. But Twitter, on the other hand, <laughs> Twitter's like a whole fucking playground full of that shit. Apart from my buddy Rex here. Disclaimer. I'm gonna fucking rant today and I don't give a fuck who hears. I am an animal rapist. You know, you couldn't get much more redneck than that. Incest bestiality, combine them together, it's the ultimate redneck. You know shit's gonna go down when you hear something like, I don't care what's gonna go happen right here right now, cause I am gonna rant. Alright, so, for any, not, any of you guys that wanna hear a rant, alright, you can, you can get on, get on out of here. That's when you know some shit's gonna go down. He's gonna be like, oh fuck, is he, is he gonna say he's, he's fucking insistent? Is he, is he, did he steal a pickup truck? What's going on? I fuck animals. I don't have sex with animals. And I'm to the point to where I just don't care anymore. My friend Josh, AKA King Cobra, fucked a goat. Okay? I'm not gonna die lonely, thank you very much. Do you understand me, Reddit? Thank you, have a nice day. I feel like that's like the most of the people that are on Reddit. It's like the 50% split between like severely brain damaged rednecks and severely brain damaged Ian Mile Chong people. Legally, thinking about sex with animals or even drawn depictions of it don't count as bestiality. However, some people have a different definition of bestiality, which includes even the attraction to animals. And of course the furries have to get involved because, you know, if it's drawn, it's not real. Although that point does stand, then okay. I'd say there's, that's a big gray, gray area. That's a fine, fine, very thinning line between drawing animals fucking and like getting off to it and actually fucking an animal that's you know uh, ooh, that's the old uh that's the old shad, shad base argument that's that old thing po bang shang dang thank you lion king for creating furries oh, okay for most people this would include sex or sexual thoughts with any non-human creature the problem is you can't equate these two things much like when i spoke about pedophilia you can't condemn someone for having an attraction to something you can't treat them the same as someone who has performed the act doing so means you are a proponent of thought crime 
It'd be like saying that anyone who has ever been so angry that they thought about killing another person should be treated the same as someone who actually commits murder. We've all been there, right? But like, has anyone actually done it? Gotten away with it? Have you ever thought about killing somebody and you actually like black out for a day and then you're there's blood all over your body and then like, you know, turns out the black glove doesn't fit? <laughs> God, I've had a dollar. So it bothers me when people say that furries are into bestiality just because they have art depicting animal-like creatures in explicit situations. Because it's equating sexual thoughts with imaginary creatures to animal abuse. The other issue is that on a fundamental level, furry characters are not beasts. What do I mean by that? Well, what separates us humans from other animals? Why is it okay legally and ethically to have sex with a human but not an animal? Some people would say it's because they aren't the same species as us, but that can't be right. Captain Kirk was seducing non-human creatures in the 60s and people were okay with that. Heck, we can look at modern media and see the same thing. Most people seem to be okay with sex with non-human entities. Let me tell you up front, if uh, anyone that is into source filmmaker sex porn animations with alien creatures, you know, you're a furry at that point. You, you want to jack off to fucking weird aliens fucking you. That's, that's what that is. <laughs> If you have to bring up the discussion to normalize uh, zoophilia and bestiality, you know, I think that's, uh, that's a bit of a red flag. <laughs> but hey, that's just my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> my unborn children are delicious. And I'm not saying that, like, because you like to jack off to 3D objects, oh, that you want to fuck animals, I'm just saying. That's like lesbians fucking each other with, like, a big black cock. Ugh. I hate guys and dicks, but God, I'll be I'll be damned if I'm not gonna get Jolly Rogered by that big fucking Great American Challenge dildo. In this video, I am going to share a definition of zoophilia. You might not have heard of this, but zoophilia is a sexual disorder which involves an erotic attraction to animals or an abnormal desire to have sexual contact with animals. Zoophilia is one form of paraphilia, which is known as deviant sexual behavior. So it's often hard to imagine, but there are people out there that have zoophilia that want to do things with animals. I have many educational definitions here and uh, if you'd like to subscribe to the channel you can learn more about different topics. This guy's like a fucking Cole Hirsch skit. Dear Walgreens, here's more information about my mascot idea, fuck ass. You can tell. You can just tell. This is like, a uh, woman gets raped by horse videos, please and thank you. He looks like he's just like eating a dog's asshole. Vegans are pretty much the only people that are actually at liberty to say that having sex with animals is wrong. <laughs> Everybody else is a fucking hypocrite. Your movie sucks on bestiality, guys. That's uh, that's the one. Your movie sucks? Yeah. More like, your dog licks my asshole with peanut butter smeared all over it. Is he vegan? Or is he, like, confessing? I feel like he's, like, confessing. Either confessing he's a vegan or into fucking animals. There's, like, oh, what's it? <laughs> Ooh, that's a, that's a loaded gun. <laughs> this takes me back to an article that I heard about where uh, a woman had to basically give sexual favors to a dolphin so they could teach it human things because this dolphin had grown up with this woman and once it hit uh, teenage time, so it's when it got really fucking horny, it would only obey the teacher when it got whacked off, which I feel like most men could uh, empathize with. <laughs> And Margaret felt the best way of focusing his mind back on the lessons was to relieve his desires herself manually. Over the Twitter, the worst place at uh, normal people's reach that just, you know, has people chilling out talking about fucking animals. Let's warm us up with the cripple. Hi, it's nice to meet you. I'm uh, Donovan, aka Young Crip. I like to fuck animals. And I'm a gay. Uh, here's one of my favorites. Hello, nuzzles you and playfully munches your nose, rolls around and exposes belly. B belly wads, please. And my second favorite. I thought of a funny response to a person I blocked. If zoophilia slash bestiality isn't a human rights issue, then a dude having sex with an animal must not be human, which means it's just two animals having sex, which means it's not actually bestiality. Think about that, fucker.
During 2004 to 2010, Pakistan was number one in searches for horse sex, donkey sex, dog sex, animal sex, rape sex, child sex, camel sex. Ever want a sandy vagina or anybody? So here we have one of the uh, beautiful people of the zoophile and bestiality community. Uh, they are in the same place. There is no point splitting hairs at that point. One big grumpy rat, one more suspiciously open spleen venting account. If you go on his website, zoo.wtf. Him and his friend here have uh, a podcast where they talk about zoophilia for about two fucking hours. For like, this is, they got six episodes. Oh, you can listen on Spotify. Let's, let's go. Let's go. The Zooier Than Thou podcast contains mature content and language and may not be suitable for younger audiences. I want to know what child is out there looking for a uh, zoophilic topics. Secondly, what child out there is looking for podcasts? I mean, I know there's the YouTuber podcast fucking thing that never stops. Is it because it looks like it's for a child show? Possibly. The maps and the zoo Felix, they go hand in hand, kinda. Most of the time. Because if you're willing to fuck a poor, helpless, defenseless dog, you're gonna look at a kid the same way. <laughs> <laughs> I am your passionate maniac, Fausty. And I'm Toggle, insightfully recognized by 12-year-old Twitter royalty as a supporter of mass shootings. And will be your press snot. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's right. Please call anyone critiquing you for wanting to fuck animals, a 12-year-old. <laughs> I don't think many 12-year-olds uh, have the brain power or capacity to be on the hunt realistically for people that want to fuck animals. I feel like that's like a 16 plus sort of thing. Maybe a 14. Very, very stretch 14. So anyway, th there's their podcast where they talk about fucking animals and the uh, justification of it. Is it okay? Absolutely not. Zoophile F. I am a teen zoophile and zooromantic. They, them, fucking pick one. Has never done anything illegal where I live. Morally, do you fit in into a society where fucking animals is not okay? I'll let you decide that one. But uh, there's this whole little, like, this little click of all these fucking weirdos. <laughs> there's a uh, wolf. You may have seen him around once or twice. Zoo sexuality, another kind of love. You know, one love, love is love. <laughs> I think there's a line. I think there's a line we're crossing. I think there's a line we're pushing up against here that we're not like putting up a wall against. Animals, in the most part, will not consent to anything because they don't have the brain capacity to be like, yes, no. A dog's mental state is shit, eat, and sleep. There's nothing else there going on. Sure, it can pretend to cuddle up on you and fucking lick its balls in your face. Primary want. Sex is not one of them. It is an instinct with other animals to breed. Nothing else. Zoophile struggles one. When you fall in love with someone else's animal and you can't just go up and then be like, can I date him or her, please? I think I may be trans, I really want to transition female to male, but I'm scared of upsetting people in my life. My parents would also never allow me. Please help. My parents say I wouldn't make an attractive guy and that I would be ugly. Okay, so this is pretty clear to the point that most zoophiles are sexually confused. And that's going way, way back to the 1800s saying that gay people are sexually confused. This is a new spectrum. There's a difference between being born the wrong gender, uh, being transsexual, and wanting to fuck animals. Because that's like a... That's different genres. But hey, you know, whatever floats your boat, right? Ah! Should I make an account talking about the not so fun side of being a map and support for maps since this account mainly focuses on zoophilia what do they tell you <laughs> for those who don't know what a map is right a map is basically a fucking better bar uh, it stands for minor attracted person which means you're attracted to minors i don't know why these people are allowed any sort of brain thought on to 
an internet sphere where people have like-minded situations happening. Silly little children, zoo files will be valid until the end of time. There's nothing you can do to change that about us. Sorry, but I have to say it. And there's the, uh, I guess that's the zoo symbol or prince's symbol. What is the prince with a zoo file? You know, he kind of looks like one. Now, being a transsexual human being is hard enough. Having zoo files and pedophiles wanting to collaborate with transgender people that's a whole new chapter it's already hard enough for those guys to be like yeah i uh i feel comfortable being the how i was born i want to go over that side you know and then they can maybe go back i don't know how that works and just like pluck a bat out it's like <coughs> blow it out and suck it back in you got a penis vagina no, sometimes people have both. You've seen that guy that has two dicks? He had an AMA. Ha! This one, this one right here. This one's like, I love my gay dog. Okay. Tasty paws. That's even worse. <sighs> okay, so when zoo files put on like animal porn on their timelines, is it okay? Absolutely not. Jack, do something, please. Anytime one of these freaks fucking quote tweet or retweet an animal on their timeline, I'm thinking like the same thing when people retweet porn on their timeline. Like, ugh, do they want to fuck that snake? Is that what's happening? They want to fucking wrap it around this shaft and like work its tail up and down? Have it have its little tongue lick the little clit on your fucking uncut foreskin? See, I feel like the people that kind of explode this whole thing up a lot more are teenagers because no one would be openly proud about fucking an animal, you'd think. Now, I don't have to be the one to tell you that uh, fucking animals is wrong. You know, hopefully you can use that brain power for yourself in telling you that having a goldfish sucking on your testicles while you're whacking off may not be the go-to, you know? There's other things, like golf tees. You can get, like, the silicone ones and, like, squish them a little bit, and then and they suck on your ball sack like a fish would. I'm not adherently saying that if you want to no i can't that's just, that's it if you want to fuck an animal you want to fuck a child those two go together so perfectly because if you go on any of their profile things they will say that they're a map somewhere down the line and it makes sense because if you can fuck something that's defenseless against you wanting to get your fucking cock out you can do it to the child too, just like the Vatican. Okay. And of course, like people like Vice have articles trying to justify it because Vice is garbage. On one hand, I feel really bad for these guys getting a lot of hate like constantly. But on the other hand, why be so proud about it? Why would you put yourself out there that much where it's clearly not going to go in your favor? I'm not ashamed for being a zoophile. Why? Because I can't do anything about it other than my controlling my urges. You can't cure an attraction. Attractions are a part of a person, not choosable. You don't choose what you're attracted to like deciding on what cheese to get. You kind of can, because there's mental institutes where you can go to and be completely shelled off from the world of animals, where you can conform to something that's more normal and acceptable than raping an animal. All in all, it's all pretty funny. I think that's the funniest fucking thing in the world. A whole group of people that are open about fucking animals that get constant hate. I think that's the pinnacle of where we are. As, uh, as people. 2019 for you, baby. Anyway, Jolly Roger, I think I will call it there. And again, a big thank you and shout out to my sponsors, yourmomsfatass.com. Make sure to head down to the description to yourmomsfatass.com and uh, put in the code Keemstar, get 20% off your mom's fat ass. Uh, I've been doing it for quite a while right now, and I love it completely. It's, it's juicy, it's delicious, you can cut it up. I have a Patreon. Uh, give me your money, so... Uh, I have a Patreon. I do drawings there, I've got video previews, I've got secret videos, shoutouts, you know, I can give you a t-shirt. Uh, I have some assets that I can use for editing, that you could use for editing. Look, I'm not good at selling stuff. <laughs>
If you'd like to support me as a creator, head over to my Patreon page. I hate it. I don't like it. It has to be sarcastic or I can't do it. But just hold tight, kids. Okay. That is coming back full force very soon. I just... I, I wanted a warm-up. That's all. That's all I wanted. Alright. I'm sorry the zoo files are the things I have to warm up on. But... What are you gonna do? <laughs> Nick knack penny whack if you dug a boner. This old dad's going homer. Do. Ray me. <laughs> Go fuck yourself. Uh, fuck your dad. I fucked your dad. Your dad fucked me. Go fuck yourself and I'll see you. Fuck off. Just fuck off. Don't subscribe to me. Don't like this video. Leave a comment down below. So tell me how much you like to fuck animals. You know, start a debate down there. Just ball it out. <laughs> One more thing, um, go check out Young Crip, I'm sure no one knows who he is. Uh, uh, we also have a gaming channel, Backseat Gaming, bringing that back, maybe. Um, yeah, fuck, Hannah Barbary.